If the social worker tells you that an attorney cannot fight your case in juvenile dependency matters, they are lying. And if they tell you that you have to stick with their own attorney, they are also lying. They lie so much. Um, Ms. T, you wanted to address some comments? Yes, I wanted to address some um, to the relatives, the grandparents and the aunts and uncles that are, that are trying to get placement of the children. Um, back in the day, CPS would not allow placement if you have a, a criminal record from decades ago. There's a new law that was signed by uh, uh, California government, David Newsom, by Nancy Skinner, three, I mean, SB 354 law, which removes the obstacles in the foster care system that prevents children from being placed with a relative caregiver who may have a past conviction. Current law can prevent someone from caring for a child even when their past conviction are, is decades old and they pose no safety risk to the child. So recently I was told by a lot of our callers that the social workers said this law is not in effect. This law is in effect as of January 1st of 2022. Okay, I'm looking online right now on Nancy Skinner's um, Senate website, and apparently her website says that it's in effect. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if, yes, if, it does if social that. workers are saying that, uh, I would welcome them to go to Nancy Skinner's um, website. She's representing Senate District 09 in California. And one of the tabs allows you to email the senator or her staff right away. And I would suggest that everybody that's getting that uh, information from social workers in California notify the senator and her staff that uh, perhaps social workers aren't following this. Um, and they won't follow it. I'm sure they're trying to bypass it somehow by setting some kind of stupid rules in place to bypass that law. However, I also wanted to bring awareness that if a social worker tells you you cannot hire an attorney, they're lying. If the social worker tells you that an attorney cannot fight your case in juvenile dependency matters, they are lying. And if they tell you that you have to stick with their own attorney, they are also lying. They lie so much, I'm surprised their nose is not miles long. Um, it's disgusting and despicable the way they behave and the way they treat families. They treat children like merchandise. And it, it's disgusting. And also, I want you guys to be aware that do not think that you are friends with the social worker or the social workers are friends with you. Social workers, the only goal for a social worker is to set you up to fail. So if you open your mouth to a social worker without your attorney present, have an attorney present. I don't necessarily trust the court-appointed attorneys in any which way possible, but that's my opinion. But you need an attorney present at all time with these social workers. And also, momentum funding, I have expressed to you guys on my shows last week, momentum funding is an uh, um, agency in New York that actually um, funds you for court cases, but it doesn't fund all states. So I know that Nevada and Las Vegas, they don't touch for some reason. Texas, they don't touch, but they do fund California. They do fund New York and New Jersey and other states too. I'm not sure which other states it is, um, but I need you guys to call them. I also posted the phone number on my shows last week as well, and I will continue to let you guys um, yeah, I will continue to post the phone number for you guys as well. But you can Google it. It's called Momentum Funding in New York. You know, Jennifer, one of the things that Ms. G just brought up, I encounter maybe two or three times a year. And I always say to myself, you know, I should do something about it or bring some type of lawsuit. And what 
what it will be is that someone will call me up and, you know, want a consultation and they'll say something like this. You know what, Mr. Davis, I would hire you, but the social worker said I can't hire a private attorney. And, you know, mm -hmm. it, I, at first I, I, I thought how ridiculous and I would kind of chuckle, but then I started thinking about it. You know, that's a very serious thing to tell someone. And I always ask them, well, did they put that in writing or, you know, because I'm sure they're going to deny ever having said that. But have you ever heard of such a thing? I have, and I have considered many a interference with contractual relations lawsuit against counties. Um, I have had some county social workers tell clients who wanted to retain me that doing so would absolutely assure they won't get their child back, that I would just make too much trouble for everyone. Um, and I always find that very interesting in light of the fact uh, that that same parent appointed counsel is usually not advocating so much for them. Absolutely, it's a thing and it's a problem. I, I mean, I wish it would be so easy to sue the county for that type of a tort um, mm -hmm. On the other hand, I also have social workers who refer clients to me on the down low and would be fired if anybody ever knew about it. Yeah, I guess it does cut both ways for me as well. Um, you know, I was thinking that even if now that we're talking about it, I was thinking maybe that, you know, someone can bring a case just to get a, uh, a restraining order or a permanent injunction against the social workers mm -hmm. and the agencies from telling people that type of thing. You know, um, you didn't have, you wouldn't have to necessarily sue them for any damages. Just say, you know, I've got a couple of people that make this allegation. We just want, want a permanent injunction or a preliminary injunction to stop social workers from saying this type of thing. You know, I don't know, you know, I don't know if social workers really, if they have a full appreciation of some of the things that they do that are, you know, perhaps civilly wrong or criminally wrong, and they just do them because, you know, they figure, you know, the parent isn't going to do anything. In a lot of cases, I think social workers count on the fact that parents aren't going to do anything or don't have the means or the idea about doing anything. You know, it, it, they're government workers. It's a government agency. You know, governments um, sometimes suppress people and people aren't able to do anything about it. You know, but next week, Jennifer, we should talk about that because I think that would be worthwhile. Because I'm sure if it's happening to us at our firm, it's definitely happening to other people. I should ask, you know, some of the other private attorneys around town or around the state if they've heard of such a thing, you know, when dealing with, Absolutely. Uh, with uh, clients and social workers. Miss T or Miss G, what were you going to say? You had, raising your hand. Um, I wanted to ask a quick question. Is it true that there is no such thing as, as adoption in common law? in the common law? Jennifer, what do you think? Um, I have no idea about that question. You know, I would, I would probably, I could guess either way, maybe yes, maybe no, but it doesn't matter. It's a statutory law and we're a state and country mainly governed by statutes. So whether it's in the common law or not, doesn't matter. It's the law of California, I can tell you that, because it's been passed into law by the state legislature and it's been signed by the governor. And it's been a law ever since, you know, I've been practicing in this, this area over 30 years. Right. I'm glad you said right, Jennifer, because Miss G is about to raise her finger and tell me I'm wrong. Miss G. One minute. <laughs> Go ahead, because we have about a minute left. Okay. So they're taking your they're taking the children um they're, they're taking the children, the kids by law. They're not taking the kids by law. They are taking the kids by trickery. They have you sign documents. For instance, the, the safety plan, right? And then they take that document and go to the court and say, look, they consented to this. No, but no, they no. trick you. Well, that's no. not. No? No, no, no. no. Well, and you know what? We're going to no? we'll talk about that when we come back after the news break. Um, but right now we have to take a break for the news and to do some commercials, pay some bills. This is The Secret, how to fight CPS and win, and we'll be back after the news and these messages.